What's going on everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are doing day 24 of 25 on the Try Hack Me advent of the Cyber Challenge. We are almost there. We are very committed to make sure that we do all 25 days of this challenge and we've learned a lot. Today we will be doing post-exploitation. So we'll be learning about Mimic Hats, how to dump password hashes, which is really good for those who are going for the OSCP or those who want to be pen testers. This is how you can do Windows exploitation, especially post-exploitation. The new OSCP is the Windows part, Active Directory. This will definitely help you with that as well. So in this task, we're going to understand post-exploitation, understand how passwords are stored in Windows, dump password hashes on Windows, and crack password hashes. So first, go ahead and start both machines, attacker machine and this Windows machine. Then once you start the machine, we're going to go to use Mimikets. And there's a GitHub repository for Mimikets that you can go and visit and really uh, try to play with it if this is your first time. We need to open PowerShell using the Start menu and navigate to C Administrator Desktop Mimikets 64. So let's do that. All right, so coming here, we'll go all the way to the bottom. Let's search for PowerShell. And when I see PowerShell, I really like the PowerShell ISE. There's a uh, completion, tab completion with it, and it's it's just better and user friendly compared to the regular one. So always try to launch PowerShell IC if you can. Okay, so it says we need to go to this on the desktop. To the desktop. If you do an ls here or dir, we see that we have Mimikets here. So now we need to run Mimikets.exe and we use Mimikets for retrieving passwords in window in windows and even more things so i highly encourage you to read through this room all right we just launched mimikets pay our instructions all right so powershell was just hanging there i'm going to move to the command line instead let's see if the command line i will have better luck with the command line then i can say duh and here is mimikets okay so i'm going to run mimikets from here let's see how this goes Let's hope it works from the command line. All right, so I had better luck using the regular command prompt compared to PowerShell. So I'll clear my screen. Here's a Mimikets prompt, and it says we need to run uh, privileges debug to see if we have the right privileges. Let's find out. Yep, we can. Next, we can dump credentials of login, logged in users. So this is after an attacker has compromised the system. And there we go. We see a bunch of credentials here. So who is who else is signed in? Emily. So we have a user called Emily. I think that's the first question they ask us is, what is the username of other logged in users? So it's Emily, which is correct. What is the NTLM hash for this user? Let's check this user. Here it is. So we need to crack this hash for this user. Let's see if that works. That's correct. What is the password for this user? And to get the password, so we just dumped the hashes using Mimikets. To get the password, we just need to say echo, then hash.txt. This will be in our Kali Linux machine. So we will open a terminal here. All right. So we. We need to say echo that hash into, I'm going to save it the same exact name that they have here, hash.txt. All right, so now we now we have our hash.txt. We need to crack that hash, see what the user's password was. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called John. I use this all the time on this channel. I'm just going to copy everything that they have here because it's straight to the point. All right. And of course, the password is already being cracked. If we do an ls cat output.txt, you see the password is one, two, three, four, and so forth. So you copy that and you put it all the way at the end here. And that's the password. So if you're going for the OSCP, make sure to know how to use Mimikets and also know how to crack passwords because this is Windows and it's going to be very helpful for you. 
Otherwise, please like and subscribe. And if you subscribe, that will mean a lot to me because we really want to get to 30,000 subscribers. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.